Hi friends, Pam Shepard with Pamela Shepard Productions here and I'm so glad to be back with you. I've finished the quilt as you go finally and put the binding and the lace and it's finally finished and I'm so excited. It's been quite the event with this COVID stuff. <laughs> but anyhow, I went ahead and showed, uh, many of you have asked if I could show part of the sewing of it and I have a uh, recording ready to go and so this is how I started the binding I actually used strips of um, jelly rolls which are two and a half inches wide and then I went ahead and ironed those in half and I did a really nice I wanted a real firm crease in that because I wanted it to hold down really tight against the quilt itself and so then after I ironed that in half for a little bit then I opened it up and I folded each side into the half line you'll see in just a second that I go ahead and um, fold that over I have nice steam going on and um, just showing you the measurement here this is two and a half inches wide um, because it's a jelly roll you could do three inches if you wanted to you could do four inches and fold them in if you wanted I just wanted to use I had several pieces of jelly roll left over from a project that I had done and they're all two and a half inches wide so that's why I used those they were different uh, cream designs then I folded each side in to the to the creased half mark and then I do what you call the finger press so that push it down so that uh, it would hold it enough that I could fold it over and iron it and um, so I was so excited uh, to, to get going on this portion of it. I was just I have absolutely loved doing this quilt. It's been such a fun thing. It is a king size, so sometimes when I was sewing and what have you, it would get a bit heavy, but I have really enjoyed it. And I've been getting a kick out of so many people um, commenting that I sound like Betty White. Isn't that funny? <laughs> I, I take that as a total compliment, honestly, because she's, I think she's a great woman, but that's funny. Okay, so as you can see, here's the quilt coming along. And then I, when I went to put it on, you have to do it, um, I just did it all enough for the whole entire quilt down both sides and on both ends of the uh, the quilt and sewed those together then I'm folding it over really really holding it nice and tight I wanted it to be really uh, tight against that I didn't want any extra where the fold is I didn't want it to per you know perch up any at all I wanted it to be nice and firm I tried it several different ways and my favorite way was to go ahead and do the binding and the lace at the same time um, some of the I thought well I'll do the front of the binding and the lace and then I'll do the back that way because you will see the stitch on the back but when I did it both uh, at the same time it actually looks quite nice on the back and it worked out okay um, what I did was when I did the lace isn't the lace so pretty I got that at Hobby Lobby every time it was 50% off and so I had quite a bit of it that I kept purchasing and I thought it was such a pretty vintage lace and work perfect with this quilt so I, I leave a tiny bit of the um, binding probably uh, eighth to about an eighth of an inch maybe a sixteenth of an inch uh, exposed and then I put the lace down just a tiny bit and the reason I did that was so that as I was sewing against the lace the top of the lace that I would be sure to catch the back because I wanted to make sure um, and catch the back binding and not have any spaces that didn't have stitches on them and I decided I'm just going to go slow and I'm going to do it right and nice and straight otherwise I'd have to do two different I'd have to do it just uh, the front piece you know flip it out and just do the front with the lace and then go around the back and either hand uh, whip stitch it or do a stitch on it so here I'm doing a nice real close-up so you can see what I'm talking about see about the eighth of an inch of the binding before I start the lace that's really nice I, I like it a lot it just it it really looked nice I thought it actually um, made it look a little bit more finished so it worked out perfectly yeah 
I really enjoyed that. I decided I might as well just take my time and go slowly uh, as to do it twice so that's what I did and oh I'm telling you it it really turned out fabulous it was it's been such a fun quilt and I'm just getting ready to start a different one that I want to show you I made up the design and it is so fun I think it's uh, a very good thing As you can see, if you think you're getting off a little bit, just fix it. Get just straighten yourself out and um, just go. I I felt like it was just smarter to put my clips with my binding for a little ways, a good little ways, and then I would just hand hold the lace on top of that, the place that I wanted it to go, about the eighth of an inch or so, and. Um, or maybe even a sixteenth of an inch. I'd have to measure it and have something that you can follow so you can have a nice straight stitch. It um, it will look really nice on the back side as well. And the back of the quilt, because of the quilting of each square, looks so nice. As we're coming up here, to the corner. I'll show you how I did the very corners of each one of them. Some people make it seem a little difficult and I thought well I'm just going to do it where it seems like it's a little bit easier and so this may seem easy to you and you may prefer somebody else's way to do the corners. Do whatever is very best for you. <clears throat> That's what you need to do. And what I did was I clipped it when I got to the corner and I clipped it past the corner and then I kind of pulled out a little uh, lip if you will just a little you can see a little section there on the bottom and on the top and then I did a clip on the other side of it um, then when what I do is I take go down just a little bit further to make sure everything is going in the right direction and um, I had to move the clip out of the way a little bit because it was a bit too close but I take that little lip and I push in um, up underneath the other side almost and then I and I push it over I do the bottom first so that I actually have it completed push it up underneath and then flip it over and it it makes a really nice miter looking um, corner from both sides on the back I think I pushed it to the right and on the top I pushed it to the left I just poke it up underneath there and fold it over and then the line goes right through the middle and as I'm sewing this lace you're going to see that I'm sewing the lace and then I kind of veer off of the lace a little bit because I want to make sure that corner stays put um, so I stitch over where the corner is just to make sure it'll stay and then I go back and catch up with the lace again do kind of the same thing with the lace I catch a I uh, make a little bit of a pull it up to where it's just a little bit of a lip and flip it over and it actually looks quite nice I'm very pleased with it Okay, you basically want to do the same thing with the lace. You go around the corner, you pull up and get a little bit of a lip on it. You turn it and go the other direction and then you only have to do the top because there's no lace on the bottom. And you just kind of um, push it over to the side and it makes a really nice little miter crease. It looks very nice. It looks lacy and it, the gather looks just the same as the, the rest of the lace so it looks nice
And of course you do this all the way around the quilt. You do both of the long sides on the sides and the bottom. I don't put lace along the top where the pillows would go. I only do the uh, binding across the top. And it just, oh, it is so gentle and sweet and and my daughter, it's for her, it's for her bed, and oh my gosh, she's so in love with it, and it's, it's a wonderful thing. I like it. I'm going to try to upload the quilt uh, pattern down below. It's a I think I can do it PDF or whatever you need it to be. And don't forget, I'm going to start a brand new quilt just in the next couple days. I've already done the uh, test square and it's so pretty. It's going to be a little bit different um, techniques. We'll use a few different techniques quilt as you go, but I think you're going to like it a lot. It's really fun. I think you're going to like it. It's really pretty. Uh, the update on the COVID with me, I'm doing quite well. A little tiny bit of fatigue. I have to take a nap usually once a day and my hair is falling out a little bit. How pretty is that? Thank you guys so much for sticking with me. Thank you for liking the channel and thank you for subscribing. Thank you for commenting. And God bless you all. I thank you so, so much. And I'll see you really soon on the next video. Bye-bye. Thank you.